you are a good leader but i do not see the reference in you and suddenly when the holy ghost helps you you say this is him when mary began to look for him they were looking around and when she found him she said rabboni she knew that he was the one are you following me now so the first question tonight is who are you pressing to become like because we have molded ourselves in different fashions that in our sincere quest to love god we found ourselves becoming many things hallelujah there is only one standard that's why i started by reading it says looking up to who joshua selman koinonia yourself your pastor no no I, I i believe in the place of spiritual guidance are you following me now but i'm teaching you that for maximum transformation this is the dynamics of real transformation let me tell you something friends the best of every man on this earth is still a man are you listening to me the best of every man is still a man looking up to jesus the author and the finisher of our faith our reference point our gauge the true standard hallelujah you look up to jesus to know what success should look like in the kingdom you look up to jesus to know what progress should look like in the kingdom you look up to jesus to know what fulfillment should be jesus christ is perfect theology he's the expression of the full intention of the father for every man when he came and walked upon the earth the bible says the word became flesh god needed to give us a reference so that we would pattern our lives after that reference and so jesus walked upon the earth and he exhibited all the attributes we are trying to exhibit so if you want to be rich by the time you become a millionaire you look to jesus if what you have become doesn't look like who he is you followed another way and that means there's disaster are you following me now if you want to be anointed by the time you touch what you call anointing and it does not look like what you see in jesus christ then you know that you got something else it says looking it didn't say wishing or dreaming looking set your gaze on to jesus as you press it's a scene then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses let us lay aside every weight and the scene that thought easily beset us and let us run so hebrews chapter 12 is talking about the race the pressing he said but hold on paul had told them run so many of them want to start running say hold on i need to let you know that as you are running and as you are pressing let your gaze be on jesus so that you will know you can appreciate your progress i follow me now you can know when when you are truly looking out to jesus you will know whether you are growing or not hallelujah paul said my little children in whom i travel until christ be formed in you and so it's our greatest desire to be with him koinonia and the holy spirit is here to guide us and help us when we stay in his presence then we become like him and then when we become like him we are empowered to reveal him in our world Emmanuel.
Colossians chapter 3. So it's our desire in this place that as God equips us for the glorious destiny he has for us, as he equips us to represent him, it's paramount that we understand that our goal is to be like Jesus. The Bible makes us to understand that the apostles, when they met Peter and he spoke at the Jerusalem council, they looked at him and they said, we know this guy. This is a, an ordinary fisherman. But he had been with Jesus so much that he was like him. When they went to Antioch, the people saw them and said, remember there was a man who behaved like this. He loved people just like these people are loving. He healed the sick. Remember that man that was crucified. Don't you see him being reproduced? There's a soup opera that many of you like about a man whose spirit entered another man. What do we call it? Second chance. His spirit entered another man and he started behaving like him. Is that correct? So when the spirit that was in Jesus comes and begins to find expression in you, men begin to see that the closest expression to the Jesus I can see is you. How come your love life looks so close to what I see in the world? How come your understanding is similar? Every time I read, see, if the people in your community read the Bible and they don't think about you, you don't look like Jesus. Because you should be the closest expression of everything they find. Colossians. Oh Lord, make us more like you. It's our desire. Make us more like you. Are you ready? Tonight the Lord is going to be walking on us very briefly. Hallelujah. The Lord is going to be walking on every one of us. God is building us, radically pruning us and bringing us to points where we truly become competent ambassadors to represent his government. Our goal is not just to get ourselves spiritually enlightened. Nobody has received an award for reading Genesis to Revelation. Nobody has received an award for criming scriptures from Genesis to Revelation. All those who have been loved by God are those who have dared to make the word of God seated in their spirits so much that they become like him. Church history is full of men and women who were the representation of Jesus in their generation. Hallelujah. Colossians chapter 3. And I read verse 1. If he then be risen with Christ... Seek those things which are above Where Christ Is seated at the right hand of God Verse 2 Set your affections Such a powerful If you are ever looking for a scripture That talks, I, I'm not done I'm just stopping because the scripture Is really touching me If you are ever looking for a scripture That addresses true Christian character And the life The exemplary life of a believer you find it in Colossians chapter 3 and 4. So for many of you who have been crying and say, God, walk upon my character. Two chapters for you. Colossians chapter 3 and verse 4 have revealed the highest manifestations of Christian conduct. Set your affections on things above, not on things of the earth. That's what we call carnality. That's what we call materialism. Setting your affections on things on the earth And not on things that are above where Christ is seated Verse 3 For ye are dead and your life is hidden with Christ in God When Christ who is our life shall appear Then shall we also appear with him in glory Verse 5 Now we begin Mortify therefore your members Listen, look up I hope you know Paul was not speaking to unbelievers. Hallelujah. He wasn't speaking to unbelievers. He was speaking to men and women who were going to shake the cities. He said, mortify, deaden 
Let's read on. Your members which are upon the earth. Then he says fornication, uncleanliness, inordinate affection, evil desire, and covetousness, which is idolatry. For which things sake the wrath of God cometh upon the sons of disobedience. In the which ye once walked when ye lived in them. But now put off all of this. Are you are you there? Tonight God is going to be walking upon us. As I as I read the list, I'll not be doing too much of talking. Let the word of God speak. Some things will be flogging you from this scripture. It will rise out of this Bible and hit you. Some are already hitting me as it hits you. Yield to that hitting. Tonight is not the night where you pretend as though it's touching your neighbor. Because I will share and then we'll raise a cry. Are you listening to me? We want to truly represent the kingdom in its fullness. Let me tell you the proof that you are truly Christ-like. It's not when you heal the sick. If you have to pray in tongues for your community to know you are a Christian, you are not a real Christian. That every time they see you, you display at your default the attributes of the Christ life. There's nothing as beautiful as seeing the manifestation of the gifts of the Spirit come upon a truly yielded life full of character and expression of the fullness of what Christ is. Did you know that your lifestyle affects people even more than your what you do on stage? Hallelujah. There are certain people that respect you today, and especially for we ministers, not because of the sermon you preached. You truly represented Jesus at a very default state somewhere that you do not even know there are many of you that are treasured and held in high esteem not because you've healed any sick body hallelujah the man we call um the great evangelist billy graham it wasn't recorded that he had many manifestations of the spirit in his meeting if he had any at all we don't have records that he of course there will be pockets of miracles here and there but he didn't seem to in quote as we will put moving power you know have everybody lie down and say okay you know this and that but till today there's no president in america that doesn't go to pay homage whether he's a freemason whether he's born again what did that man show the world that compelled the united states of america to put it it was is almost a law there are certain people that seem to command the attention of their territories because they are the truest representation of Christ has nothing to do with denomination has nothing to do with whether you are orthodox or Pentecostal living faith cooking celestial church whatever it is that's not the issue hallelujah so let's read on this is koinonia we are becoming more like him hmm. Are you there? Verse 8. Put off all of these. Are you ready to hear the this now? Alright. Anger. Anger. Oh. Put off these. Dear ambassadors of the Most High. Those who want to represent Him. Put off all of these. Yes, you are anointed. Yes, you can heal the sick. Yes, you are prosperous you are a multi-millionaire but put off this anger wrath malice come on anointed people malice hallelujah i hope you like this teaching tonight blasphemy filthy communications Ha, look up channel O and MTV and all kinds of media programs have cultured the language of many people including believers and so it's true that you are born again you are serving in church you are anointed I mean all you need to do is blow the and you see people just moving around 
but evil communication your communication has made people question the anointing upon your life and people say i cannot reconcile what i see on stage with what i see around i can't reconcile it and the bible says so that this thing will not corrupt your being an ambassador lay aside even filthy communication let's read on lie not to one another verse 9 ah! nigerians lie not to one another businessmen lie not to one another prospective politicians lie not to one another those who are seeking favor from different people lie not to one another hallelujah seeing that you are put off the old man the bible calls all of these the attributes of who the old man and we have so many new creation people unto thee O lord do i lift up my soul let me not be ashamed let not mine enemies triumph over me let them be ashamed which transgress without cause show me thy